Hey, what's up everyone? This is Paul. So I've got a very short, quick announcement. It's going to be quite a short video, but I just wanted to kind of address this really quickly because we are we heavily rely on Vidnami to run our business. In fact, I've got six channels, five of which I use a lot of Vidnami to create videos and I've got tons of students using it. So um, the announcement, if you haven't heard it, is that um, Vidnami has now been sold to GoDaddy. GoDaddy are yet to sort of announce what they intend to do with it. So what I'm going to cover in this video is what alternatives are available right now. And also I'm going to, at the moment, I'm actually researching some other products that are like for like, okay? There's lots and lots and lots of video editing tools that software's out there. So, um, but firstly, like why, do, why, what does this actually mean, right? Does it mean that GoDaddy are going to just keep Vidnami the same way as it is? Does it mean that they're buying the database? Does it mean that they, they've basically got their own, um, thing in development and they just want to kind of get rid of the competition? Well, the honest answer is at the moment, we don't know. And it could be any one of those. It could be a combination. It could be a hybrid of them actually buying the, the user interface and sort of combining it. Um, that certainly buying a user, user database is always handy. Although GoDaddy don't really need a database, but they, you know, if they're getting into video software and they've got a database of people that make videos, um, that's obviously going to be a good thing. Now, the analogy I like to give here is that when um, Facebook bought Instagram, right, Facebook could uh, could have like, they could have made Instagram, right? Instagram was not something that was out of their capability, but they were buying the lead base. They were buying the database as, as well as buying the software. So, you know, there's, there's lots of advantages to buying software. And it's not always as kind of cut and dry as you think. So that's the first thing. So I'll obviously let you speculate. Post down below what you think's happening. I want to know how much they sold it for, just out of curiosity. <laughs> I'm guessing around 50 million. I don't know why. That's just a number that came into my head. But you can speculate down below here and um, <laughs> open up a debate if you want. That'd be really cool. But um, so for, first of all, what I've been doing today is asking around at the software that people are using, because I've used quite a few in the past. Um, but I've basically been relying on either just doing personal brand videos like this, whereas I don't use Vidnami, I use ScreenFlow. Um, which is like a video editing software. It's not the same sort of thing at all. Vidnami kind of just creates videos for you, right? So um, so I'm looking for a like for like so that we can replace it. And we've actually got some training inside of our academy, which I obviously wanna, uh, I wanna change that out as soon as possible as well. Um, so one of the suggestions that came up today was in video. Okay, now I can't recommend it because I've never used it, but I'm gonna be trying it out. And another one was Wave. Uh, dot cm i'll put the links in the description but what i'll do is i'll make sure because this video is going to be up like for the next few weeks and i'll make sure that i'll come back and drop in the actual um the actual review of the different products that i've got and actually the links to the products as well okay i'm not a, like affiliate of any of these products I obviously just want to make sure that i'm serving and making sure that you guys are kind of like not left too much in the lurch um as i have been right now right so um so yeah so in video and the other one is i think it's called wave i'll put the link down below they're the two that have come up quite a bit today um and if you've got anything that you know any um softwares that you've used and that have a like for like comparison could you post it in the comments and can you post the differences like somebody posted in one of our Facebook groups, that InVideo was the same as Vidnami, but it wasn't, it didn't have the same features, but I'm really like, interested to know what the features are. Obviously, I'll dig in and have a play with it. Um, so yeah, post down below if you know what kind of does a, a similar sort of thing. Um, and yeah, you know, looking for like for like really, and I'll obviously keep an eye on that and post and give you the links in the description. So depending on when you see this, go and check out the description. So that's it for me today. I'll see you in the next video.